Welcome everyone, so let's get started. Welcome to the instance level recognition workshop. This workshop is made possible by a large collaboration between contributors from academia and industry. So let me take a minute to introduce the organizers of the workshop who you will see hosting the different sessions today. From Google Research, I'm Andrea Araujo and my colleagues are Cam Askew, Bingi Kal, Jack Sim and Tobias William. From the Czech Technical University in Prague, Andrea Holm, Jorgos Tolias and Thorsten Sattler. From Amazon, Xu Han, Xu Zhang, sorry. From Columbia University, Guangxing Han. And from Seoul National University, Bo Hyung Han. Today's workshop is split into two sessions, each two hours long. The first one now and the second one will happen later today, starting at 10 p.m. in the UTC plus one time zone. We hope you'll be able to join us for both sessions. Note that all presentations will be recorded and made available after the workshop. For this first session, after these opening remarks, we'll have our first invited talk from Professor Ping Luo from the University of Hong Kong. Then we'll introduce this year's landmark uh, retrieval challenge and continue with presentations from challenge winners. In the second sessions, in the second session, we'll start with our second invited talk from Dr. Diane Larley from Naver Labs Europe. Then we'll discuss the landmark recognition challenge, which is currently ongoing, followed by two sessions to discuss instance level recognition in other domains, artworks and products. We'll then finalize the workshop with closing remarks and Q&A. Okay, now that we're clear of these organizational comments, let me switch gears to introduce the topic of the workshop. And the first thing you may be wondering is what we actually mean by instance level recognition. And the best way to understand this is by considering the possible labels one may assign to images like these. In a basic recognition problem, we would normally have coarse labels such as painting, building, or hat. These are the types of labels you find for data sets like ImageNet or open images, for example. In a fine grained recognition setup, the labels are more specific, for example, describing the painting style, the type of building, or the type of hat. Fine grained recognition is an area explored in detail in a different workshop, the FGVC workshop series. In this workshop, we're interested in instance level labels, which are very detailed. For the painting and the building images, the label would correspond to the specific instance. So that would be, for example, for the painting, Serenite Night over the home. And for the building would be Arc de Triomphe in Paris. And for the hat, the label would correspond to the specific product shown in the image, which is, in this case, a Google cap. This type of technology is key for many important computer vision applications, for example, augmenting cultural exhibits in museums, organizing photo collections, travel assistance, or visual commerce. And, uh, you know, to motivate the problem a little bit, and uh, I wanted to highlight some important characteristics so that people can get a sense of the difficulty of the, this, these types of problems. So the first characteristic that stands out uh, is that is the large number of classes since the classes are so specific for instance level recognition. For example, in the Google Landmarks dataset v2, there are 200,000 classes. And you can see their geographic distribution in this plot. The second characteristic that I wanted to highlight is that the problem may present a long tail of number of images per class. And you can see that on the right again here for the Google Landmarks dataset v2. <clears throat> there are some very popular landmarks with many images. Well, about half of all landmarks have fewer than 10 images. Only 20% of classes have more than 25 images. So these problems can be uh, very imbalanced in nature. And finally, this is a problem with limited appearance variability since the classes are very specific. And in many cases, the objects we're trying to recognize are rigid, which means that the appearance variation is mostly based on capture conditions like illumination changes or viewpoint changes, noise, etc. Here is one example, uh, again from the Google Remarks data set, where the building of interest is shown from different viewpoints and different illumination conditions. 
This year's workshop is part of an effort we started back in 2018. In February 2018, we released the first version of the Google and Marks dataset, which enabled the first landmark recognition and retrieval challenges. And later that year in June, we hosted the first landmark recognition workshop in CVPR. In 2019, we released a new and improved dataset, new challenges, and hosted the second landmark recognition workshop in CVPR again that year. And this year, we decided to move beyond landmark recognition and expand the effort to include other types of instance level recognition problems in the domains of artwork and product recognition. We also launched a new set of landmark challenges in June with new characteristics, which we will discuss today later in detail. So for this year's workshop, here's what he had planned. For landmarks, we had planned to collect new tests and index images and launch two new challenges. For products, we had an industrial partner who had committed to collect a brand new data set and launch a new challenge on product retrieval. And for artworks, we had planned to collect new test images in partnership with the Metropolitan Museum in New York to launch an artwork recognition challenge. But then COVID-19 struck our plans and this is what ended up actually happening at the end. For Landmarks, we all of a sudden were actually not able to send operators to take pictures in the field due to the shelter in place orders. Luckily, we were able to tap into a separate pool of data with appropriate usage permissions, which allowed us to launch two new challenges. For products, uh, our industrial partner that we had at the time ended up dropping out completely, so we had to go back to square one. Luckily, we were able to find a new partner who is committed to move forward. And for artworks, all of a sudden, the partner museum had to close because of the pandemic. So there was no way that we could go physically there to take pictures for the new test data set. Luckily, uh, we are still able to find some online images with appropriate licenses, which were gathered into a new data set. So overall, the workshop plan was hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic, but we still think that we made uh, good progress uh, in a, uh, and we ended up making good steps towards the right direction with the final goal of developing real-world benchmarks for landmarks, products, and artwork with Google, Amazon, and the Metropolitan Museum in New York City. Throughout the workshop today, you will, you will hear updates about the developments we made in these areas. As a final comment, let me mention that we really welcome collaborations in this workshop from both academia and industry. So if you're a student or a researcher in this area and would like to get involved, or if you're interested in a related instance level recognition problem, or if you have any ideas, feedback, please feel free to contact us at uh, this email address. Okay, that's the end of the uh, welcome remarks. Uh, any questions at this point? You can enter your questions via the Q&A feature in the Zoom webinar. Um, yeah, and we'll monitor that 